and welcome back to Let's Talk PMA. I'm Allie. And I'm Jessica. Today we're going to go over creating and maintaining goals. So mom, it's the new year and everyone's out here setting their resolutions and we don't really like to use New Year's resolutions. We like to set goals instead. I know I see resolutions has like this weird connotation around it that's just not, I don't feel like it's stable. I feel like it's everyone feels like they have to do it. It's always like the same goals that aren't like positive. Um, Do you have your goals or what goals have you set and how do you feel like you're going to maintain your goals this year? Yeah, it's funny because I think of, you know, every year I start going back to the gym, right? And we all go back to the gym because that's always our biggest New Year's resolution. And so it's so funny because mine because we're going to Disneyland next month so I'm like I'm not making a weight goal I'm not making an exercise goal but my goal this year is to start off the year just moving my body so to do that I'm getting ready for Disneyland I'm you know walking every day making sure that I'm moving every day and that includes going to the gym so I went to the gym the other day and I'm like, man, it's full. Okay, well, let's see how long that takes before it tapers off and there's no one in here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I worked at the gym, <laughs> it was like that. It's like first two months, you know, actually the end of January, it's like cut in half. But right. then like February, like more drop off, March, more drop off. But then you have like another pickup, but it's it definitely is like full, full, full. And then everyone just stops. So why, like, why do we think that the new year, we have to just go and set these unrealistic expectations for ourselves that if it didn't work last year, why would it work again this year? You know, not if nothing really has changed. So why can't we set more positive goals? Like for me, I'm more like, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to do what my body needs. So that means that instead of going on a quick walk with my dog every morning and then coming and sitting in the house working and doing nothing, then I'm going to go and I'm going to take him on a really good walk. I'm going to go take him on a little mile walk or a little over a mile. And then, then I can come inside, do my work. And then I've, you know, I've moved my body. I'm doing my skincare. I'm taking care of my hair. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm doing all these little things that are like, taking care of myself um, instead of just making myself feel bad for not going to the gym every day. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, when we set goals, it's a matter of why are you setting that goal? So, you know, what, what's the goal and then really figuring out and really doing some good soul searching. Why am I creating this goal? Is it a realistic goal? And is it something that I want to maintain daily? right? Because our goals are things we build on. So I have my huge goal. Yeah. So maybe it's, I want to lose weight, a certain amount of weight by a certain date, right? So what are the little things that we have to do each day that's going to keep that on the top of our mind so that we're working towards that big goal? And I think a lot of us think, okay, I want to have, I want to lose weight or I want to, you know, get ready for something, or I have this goal of making so much money or whatever the goal may be. Um, And then they write it down and it sits there and they may look at it every once in a while um, and think, oh, it's just going to magically happen. But until we really evaluate and really think about, you know, what's my goal and why am I making that goal? what are my thoughts and feelings around that goal and to really make it sustainable. And then, you know, another good thing to do is to write that goal down, maybe like on a little card that you can keep with you every day or stick it up in your mirror when you're driving or, you know, in your bathroom, whatever, so that you see that goal every day. And then it's constantly in your head and you can be like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get after this. I'm going to keep my goal on the top of my mind. I'm ready to go. 
every day. Yeah, and I think that also, like, along with that, keeping a really positive mindset towards it. If you're trying to lose weight because you feel bad about how you look, that's a negative mindset towards that goal, and that's going to make it a lot harder to reach than if you have a positive mindset towards it. So if I have a goal that I want to lose weight and I have this negative mindset that, oh, I hate how I look and I hate going to the gym, but I have to do it. And you have all these things that are telling you I have to, you're not going to be able to stay, you're not going to sustainably be able to stay at the gym. You're not going to be able to keep doing that because every day that you don't go, because life happens throughout the year, that you're not going to be able to go to the gym every single day. So then you're going to make yourself feel bad. And that's just creating more negative, negative, negative on top to on top of this already negative goal. Mm-hmm. So if I were to say I want to lose weight, but I'm doing it for me because I want to have a healthy body. I'm going to say, OK, what is a what is a way I can set a goal like a, what can I break this down to every week? Can I go to the gym three days a week? If I go three days a week, does that seem sustainable? Okay, what if I go on vacation? Can I still achieve three days a week? You know, you have to think about the long run of the entire year because life happens. And then you also have to say, okay, if it doesn't happen this year, maybe I only went two days this week. Then am I going to make myself feel bad because of that one day that I couldn't go because of other reasons? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, when you miss a day, like I, my goal was every day to walk. Well, yesterday I didn't walk. It was raining out and I didn't get to the gym and I thought, okay, here I go again. But no, I am determined to make, make this happen. I'm determined that when we go to Disneyland that I'm going to be in shape and I'm going to be strong. And so today I'm going to go for a walk and I'm just going to get right back on. And so that's where our mindset has to be is, okay, if I falter one day, it's not going to break my goal. It just means that I have to pick it right back up and keep going. So it's, it's really important. And, you know, and like, I have a word for the year that goes along with my goal, which is determination. I am determined and I have that word everywhere and it really flows into my goal. I am determined to move my body every day. I am determined to be stronger and to be the best that I can be when I go on vacation with my family. And because I've picked that word, that's a strong word and it's a strong word for my goals, then it drives me every time I think about it. Yeah. And I think that's really important. Yeah. I mean, with my goals this year as well, I also have a word. And I think that picking a word When you're picking a word to go with your year goals, it should be something that is what you've struggled with before. Uh, My word is acceptance because I'm the type of person that makes myself feel bad if I don't do my skincare or I don't, you know, go for a walk, I don't go to the gym or whatever the little things are, or I take a day off, I make myself feel really, really bad about it. And then it doesn't make me want to go and do it the next day. It just makes it worse. And then I make myself feel worse for it. So my word is acceptance. And I'm accepting that there's going to be days that I need a break. I literally went hiking with some friends while I was here and I fell off the mountain and my body was hurting really bad. <laughs> no, off the mountain. You might have fell to, off the mountain. <laughs> you might have to explain that a little more because you didn't <laughs> fall off the mountain. <laughs> I fell off a portion of the mountain. So my body was really, really hurting. And once my friends left, it was on Friday, I was so exhausted and I was supposed to get a bunch of stuff done that day, but I decided I needed to sleep in and that I needed to just give myself a break because life happens, (laughs) life happens. And we're only a week into this year. And sometimes it happens right then and there. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know know where it's going to happen. Just make sure that you are able to accept if your body and your mind needs a break. Well, I think that's a good point too, is life happens. And if we don't accept that and aren't able to say, okay, these are my goals and 
not beat yourself up. And I think we talked about that in the very beginning. Don't beat yourself up if you don't do something for one day. Your goals don't go away. You don't just quit. It's just a pause. So pause for the cause and then um, and then keep going. But once you quit and you have the mindset that you've quit, then that's when your goals don't follow through. Yeah. So what steps do you take when you're setting your goals, mom? So number one, I write down like all the things that I want to do. You know, what are all my goals? What are, and I usually have about 10 goals that I set for myself and then I prioritize them. So I, I think about all the goals that I want. I prioritize what they are and put them in order. And then um, after that, then I break them down. So I see, I kind of make them smaller, tangible goals to reach that bigger goal. And then um, after that, I write it down. I write it down on a little card that I keep with me so I can see it every day. Um, I think about it every day. I can journal about it. You can um, just read it, you know, just to keep it top of mind and go do it. Go do something that's going to put you one step closer to your goal. And so I think those are the biggest things. Um, just making sure that you just have that mindset. You're, it's always top of mind. It's always there so that you're always taking a step closer to what you want to achieve. Yeah. And I mean, when you're trying to complete your goals, you have to know what they are all the time. And for everybody, that's going to look different. Um, you really like journaling and, um, you know, writing everything out. For me, I am not good at writing anything out, <laughs> but I have other ways that I like to do it. Um, one, it's always on my mind. Like I'm always thinking about my big three, um, my goals for this year. And I also have, I have a habit board that I actually created myself and I hang it up and it has, you know, five things that I want to make sure that I'm doing every single day. And a lot of them have to go or have to do with my goals. So then I can go and I can check off every single day. I'm supposed to do it twice a day. I check them off. And, you know, just seeing the completion for me is what like makes me feel successful and makes me feel good. And then I can evaluate the week and say, okay, what did I do? How well did I do this this week? What can I do better for next week to keep pushing towards and keep you know, making those goals and get better at them. I also create, um, prizes or not prizes, um, rewards. I create rewards for myself. So if I'm on top of it, if I have like a 90% completion through all of my things, then for one week, I get a small, like a small reward. If I do it for two weeks, I get a little bit of a bigger reward. And that could be going and buying a coffee because I don't go and buy coffees for myself. And the next week could be something a little bit bigger. Maybe it's going and getting like the leggings that I've been wanting or something like that. Just something that I've been wanting and that's going to make me feel good. And then the last week, the same thing, a little bit bigger, something else that's going to make me feel good and make me just like understand that I'm working hard. I'm working hard and I'm doing everything that I need to do. And then it's going to become a habit. Once I create those habits, it takes 21 days, right, mom? 21 days to create a habit it can it says but it's it's really you know I was reading something the other day and it's really um 21 days can be absolutely but it's also because begins in your mind yeah. and also once you once you make that absolute decision that this is what you want it can become immediate so it really depends on you and are you really committed to this is what you want to change in your life and this is what you want then it can become immediate because you are taking action right then and there if it's something that you're struggling with and you're not quite sure and you still are like kind of floundering then you then absolutely you'll take that step by step you know creating that habit of whatever that is and um making it an everyday thing so, but 21 days is what they usually say, but it's really, it really is all on you. 
Yeah, no, definitely. I, I agree. I feel like the 21 days is really good if you're trying to kind of create a whole new routine. If you're trying to create a whole new routine, which that's multiple steps that you are adding um, every single day, I could say that 21 days would seem, at least for myself, obviously, like you said, it's different for everybody. But if I were to do it for three weeks, I think by that point, I would have created the habit of this routine for sure. Yeah. I mean, I know that I've been in that situation where it's been like, okay, I'll go 21 days and I'll do it. And then after the 21 days, I'm tired and I'm like, it's not there. So it's really, again, just goes into that mindset. Are you ready to change? Are you ready to make a difference in your life? Then, you know, then you're all in. Once you're all in, then yeah, you can create those habits and you can create a difference and make your goals happen. Yeah. So let's talk about these goals and how they have to, how they affect sports like for athletes um for coaches for parents I mean obviously everyone um but athletes I know you guys are all setting your goals and your goals may have changed by the new year and they may have not they might just be continuing on through what you have already had going for your season so how do things change when it comes to goals and it comes to sports let's say I'm an athlete and I'm a freshman in high school. My big goal, and this isn't just like for the new year, this has been my goal for a while, but it's a new year and I'm trying to, you know, really break it down so I can actually get to those goals. My goal is to play college basketball, or let's say I I wanna play college sports, whatever my sport is, I wanna play college sports. How can I break down that big humongous goal into these like little goals to help me reach that? So number one, I would say, why? Why do you want to play? Why do you want to play college sports? Um, Because it's something I'm super passionate about and I'm, you know, I would do anything for it and I will put in any work for it and I don't want to quit. Okay. So when you're thinking about your sport and you're so excited about it, how does that make you feel? excited okay and so when you're excited about being able to do that what do you do what are your actions uh makes me want to go and work out or it makes me want to go practice okay does it have (laughs) when you think about college sports do you think about your academics as well do you think about practicing more with your team how you're going to be a teammate how you're going to um meet with coaches, how you're going to show up for yourself and for your team, all those things come into play, right? And so then your result, because you're working on all those things, you're taking all of those actions, you're going to get to that goal. But to break it down, how are you going to get to that goal? So you have your big goal of wanting to play college sports, but you're a freshman, you have four years to work on that, three years to work on that, right? So in those three years, what do you have to do to become that elite athlete so that you're looked at by college coaches and complete those goals? What do you have to do? I have to make sure that my skills are perfected. And how are you going to do that? By practicing and working out and, um, training and doing everything that I possibly can all the time going to camps and going Mm -hmm. okay what I have to work make sure my grades are perfect and good because I can't play sports in high school let alone in college if I don't have good grades or at least a certain GPA right yeah depending on whatever college I go to which if you are setting your goals to go to college, make sure that you do look at uh, the GPA that you have to have to be able to get into that college. Um, and then my attitude, what kind of attitude do I have um, in sports, out of sports, and how can I improve it to be a better teammate and just a better person um, that will also help me get into college sports. So do you see yourself every day 
as a college basketball player? Yes. Okay. And that's another part of your goals is the visualizing. I see myself, I am a college basketball player. I am a college basketball player. I see myself playing college basketball. I see myself getting good grades. I see myself doing whatever it takes to get me to the point where I can be a college basketball player. So all those things, it's, it's work. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of in your mind. So whatever you think that you can do, see yourself doing it and going for it. And once you do that and break those down, you know that you're practicing every day. You're putting in the time, you're putting in the effort, you're going to the camps, you're working on your grades. You see yourself in that position. You're working as hard as you can. You're making the connections, right? And so then in three years, you're going to either, you know, hopefully you'll be, have met your goal and you'll be playing college basketball but really define what that means. Do you want to be a D1 player? Do you want to just be a community college player? Really define exactly what you want. Just the broad, I want to play college basketball. Well, you could play college basketball for community college, no matter what. But do you really want to, do you want to be a great basketball player and be, go to a D1 school? Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that was perfect. That's exactly how I did it when I was in high school. (laughs) That's how I broke down all my goals. Um, I do want to throw out that if you are a parent, um, you also need to make sure that you know what your kids' goals are because um, college coaches look at parents. That's the first, those are the first people that they look at um, when they're trying to see if they're going to recruit someone is if their parents are restricting them or if they're loud and they're always yelling and, um, you know, just being a distraction instead of benefiting them. So you as a parent really need to make sure that you have yourself in check. Um, Make sure that you're doing everything that you can to help your kids reach your goals, not restrict them from getting to their goals. Yep. Always be that positive influence for your kids, for sure, as it affects everything yeah yeah they they I just actually watched a video on it the other day um I'll link it below but um they this coach is definitely saying that he the first people he looks to is the parents are these parents supportive are they loud are they obnoxious are they distracting are they you know trying to go and talk to the coaches all the time are they interfering what are they doing And that's going to definitely say if they want to have a player on their team or not. Yeah, that's, I think that's good advice. I don't know that everyone understands that. So at least I know I didn't. So yeah, that's good good advice. Goals are, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared mentally and physically. And um, if you really want it, go for it, go after it, get it done and um, conquer it and be proud of yourself for completing it. Give yourself a time frame, And so that when you see that every day, when you're looking at your goals, that you can see where your progress is every day. Yeah, be determined to get to your goals and accept if your body does need a break because whether you're trying to be a college athlete or not, your body's gonna need a break at some point. Just don't let it take over and don't let it make you take a month off. You know, take a couple days, take a day to yourself, relax, recover, um, but just be determined to get after it. Yep. Always get, always get back in. Don't ever quit and just keep moving forward and you'll get it done. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Um, goals, goals, goals. Everyone's setting their new goals. Just um, do what you guys can to reach them, set your mindset and just go after them. Don't stop. And as you are setting your goals, try to set a word for the year, set something that you've struggled with in the past and um, put it in for this year and keep it in your mind. Um, Acceptance, determination, positivity, whatever it is, find your word and um, stick with that for this year. And also don't forget to like and subscribe below. And um, our workbook is coming out in one week. 
one week it is coming out and we are so so excited to share it with you guys we are impressed with ourselves coming out with this and it looks absolutely amazing and we can't wait to share it with you all um, and we will see you guys next week thank you guys for coming thanks have a great week Bye.